Friday, the day before we do Silver Lake and Roseville. I'm just gonna be working on Depop and yeah, I guess mentally preparing for the next two weeks because it's gonna be Silver Lake, Rose Bowl, and then next week I'm preparing for pop-up shops for the end of the month. And then we're going to Coachella next weekend. So yeah, just a lot of a lot of stuff for nostalgic threads and a lot of personal stuff about to happen. So it's exciting because Coachella is something that I've been going to for the past, I don't know, almost decade, I guess. So it's exciting that I'll finally be back and I definitely want to pull some fits for Coachella. So yeah, I wanted to do all that before Coachella happened, but everything is just so crazy that I think y'all are just gonna get everything as it comes. And then one day, one day I'll be able to get ahead of all this stuff on YouTube. But yeah, if you enjoy flea market content, thrifting content, and I'm gonna start kind of adding more lifestyle content into the channel. But if that's something you're interested, make sure to subscribe down below and turn on the post notifications and make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out because my channel is still new and we're trying to grow it. So any engagement on here really helps me out. So, yep, let's get into it. I'm exposing myself right now. So we packed some packages and then this stuff is stuff that I'm gonna go through for Depop see what needs to go up, see what needs to get reorganized. I packed all my stuff for Silver Lake on Saturday already, so I usually just wait till the end of the day because I don't like leaving all my stuff in my car. I don't know, people, people just, you never know who's watching, so I don't really like to leave stuff in my car or the garage or anything like that until I'm like literally about to leave, so. Pro tip to people that do that because, you know, you just got to be careful because that your inventory is like your asset. So you, you don't want to just leave that stuff out. I'm going to go to the post office, run some errands. And then, yeah, today's like a whole like cleaning situation. My boyfriend just started a new job. So I'm getting all my Depop stuff out of his room so he can have an office. And then I'm somehow figuring out how to put all my inventory into my room, basically like our bedroom. Cause I have like a big closet and then I might try to figure something out in our storage. Yeah, I'm not sure. So anyone who has like Depop storage tips, like leave it down below. Cause right now I'm kind of in a process of figuring that out again. Um, because my boyfriend hasn't like had a, like hasn't been working from home, so I've been able to use our extra room, but now things are changing. And I think I'm kind of changing how I'm doing my business. I really wanna be more curated by the end of this year. So yeah, I guess that's stuff I'll kind of be talking about throughout this video because yeah, that's my goal. I really wanna do upcycling stuff and I have a pop-up in like two weeks that I need to prepare for, so. I'm basically going to be pumping it out um, and still go to Coachella somehow. So we're, we're on a mission the next couple of weeks. So, yep, yep, that, that's what's up. This is stuff that I'm going to save for Rose Bowl since I've brought a lot of this stuff out to Silver Lake a lot and I wanted to kind of rotate new stuff in, but Rose Bowl, we only do once a month so i feel like it's okay to bring some of these pieces out to rose bowl this is the closet i need to sort through to put all my like i don't even know honestly but i'll show you so this is a lot of my personal stuff and outerwear but i can clean this out and all the bottom um yeah for the past like year i've been really focused on doing markets and my online just hasn't been as good because like the markets are just so physically demanding it's hard for me to kind of keep up with the online too just being one person so that's kind of what i'm shifting towards over the next couple of weeks because i'm going to coachella and 
I have a lot of like family stuff going on, so I'm not gonna be able to do as many markets. So I'm trying to kind of like revive my Depop and my website and my Etsy. I've been trying to bump my listings more often and just posting every day. I feel like being on Depop is kind of like being a social media person. Like you just need to be consistent. Um, you need to take good photos and I don't know. Yeah, you just need to be consistent and always on your account and like responding to people like you are the like sorcerer you are the customer service person you're you're all you're all of that baby but um yep okay now I'm gonna go run to get coffee and go to the post office and then we'll get back into this mess it's literally 93 degrees at 10 in the morning it's already so hot hey poo poo Hey. Same, but I have to work. But you're pretty cute and it makes me want to stay. Okay, you're gonna hate me for exposing you, but anyone with cats, how do you guys take care of their cat knee on their chin? <laughs> <laughs> You're so thick. All right, it's six thirty AM going to Silver Lake now. We're all packed up and ready to go. Maybe we'll just do that.
five dollar pile. Cameras. Boop. <laughs> I feel like we should name our bikini girl. She needs a name. April. Okay, I see it. April. Oh, from um, the ultimatum. All right, April from the ultimatum. We're like, we need to put a hot girl in the booth. So that was the plan. Oh. Like this. Yeah. Yeah. So. You have a scratch? Where? Oh, it's the protector. Oh, damn, though. Yo, Vons didn't have Advil, and it took me 10 years to check out. So I'm gonna go run to the gas station to get Advil because everybody is already getting migraines from the heat. Except for me, I'm good. I hydrated yesterday. But yeah, it's 10.30, so yeah, the market started. Taylor's holding down the booth. And I'm running last minute errands. Wow, no one really got the bottle of ibuprofen right now. That's kind of annoying, but um, back to the market now. It's so hot today. That's why I'm in my like vacation pre Coachella fit. But yeah, all right, we'll tour Silver Lake and hopefully it's a good day today. So I'm starting to realize that I feel like these Silver Lake vlogs are a little repetitive. So maybe I'm going to make this a little like shop with me for Coachella vlogs since that's probably what I'm going to be doing tomorrow at Rose Bowl too. So I want to do a styling video and it might just end up being like a pack with me for Coachella. So yeah, maybe I'll show you what I find today. And honestly, yeah, I don't know. All right, I'll show you what I find today. See ya.
how to scoot your boot. Dirty shoes. These are so dirty. Um, I have to pee, but um, you're gonna do all the work now. We made it. <laughs> Hello. Good morning, Rosebud. <laughs> all right, the first load. Uh, she's okay. gonna get the tent up and here we go. It's like six o'clock, I think. Hey, come through. My headlamp was buried in the car, but because of daylight savings, we're sacrificing it today. Hopefully I'm gonna make this these into bucket hats. These will be fun. And then I just got a bunch of dresses. Dresses. And now I might have to dye this. I'm pretty sure this is like a wedding dress, but I just really liked it. And it's Jessica McClintock. Oh, the lace details are so pretty. And then I wanna make this into a tote bag or something. Ooh. And then Okay, this this gave me these two gave me Taylor vibes. Oh yes, Taylor's all. Oh my god, yeah, that one. But With the like, collar. Not her size, but yup. And then got a bunch of lingerie and oh, these are my favorite. This was only got these are only twenty bucks too. Ooh, I like this. So. Nice little waistband, snatched. All right, today I brought out my kids stuff and we're actually selling it, so that's exciting. Ran into Details Vintage on my way to the front. It feels like it's summer because it is popping today.
Are you shopping? Yeah, it's like I love seeing the and it's same oh. pattern in front. Oh yeah. Attention to detail. Oh, you're like it's mine now. Literally so beautiful. Woo! Yep, let's see this folding technique. There it is. A. Wow. Yep. Mobile Rose Bowl. Mobile Rose Bowl, baby. Sourcing and selling. That's what we like to see. Hey. Hey. So, okay, so they're vintage tees and you screen print your logo on it. Yeah, just because we don't want to order like 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 mass produced shirts. Uh, so just like trying to like upcycle old t-shirts too in a different way. No, nah, I mean, that's our job, you know? We can't just keep donating shit. Yeah, like, it's just like tees that like, I feel like people would enjoy, but it's just like a little bit off. Yeah, I love the like, I like the color choice, you know? The tonal. Yeah, see? <laughs> the end of the day. We're wrapping up. I just think it's really cool to see all the booths packing up at the end of the day. Like, that's crazy. That's craziness.